Value propositions and business models don't live in a vacuum. Our ideas and businesses are impacted by emerging trends and disruptive forces which can make or break them. We can't control our external environment, but we can try to understand it and prepare for scenarios that are more impactful than others, both in an attempt to explore strong trends, but also to reduce major risks that may be coming our way. Hello and everybody and welcome. My name is Stefan Diefenbacher. I'm the founder of Digital Leadership. We are a change accelerator consultancy and I'm the lead author of the book, How to Create Innovation and the Unite Models. I'm very happy to share with you today more about the Unite Business Model Environment Canvas. Let's review how the Canvas is organized. The Business Model Environment Canvas is organized in several layers. At the very center is your own business model. You can consciously design your business model with the help of the Unite Business Model Canvas and Framework, which we are exploring in a separate video series. Your business is surrounded by its immediate existing competitors, which is a zone of competitive rivalry. The third ring is based on the concept of the five forces, which Port originally developed. Industry competition occurs based on changes in customer demand, the bargaining power of buyers, the threat of substitute products, the bargaining power of suppliers, and the threat of new entrants. The entire industry landscape is then influenced by emerging trends and disruptive forces. Emerging trends cover major trends, which include technology trends, customer trends, and dynamic societal mega trends. Disruptive forces cover the market forces, industry forces, as well as macroeconomic forces. Under those titles of emerging trends and disruptive forces, we have covered the most important categories, including, if we felt they were highly important, key topics that are just too big to avoid and therefore had to be put on the map. Let's go through some examples. You can't look into technology trends without considering the impact of blockchain and distributed ledger. On a more political level, data rights and privacy emerge. And with 3D printing and additive manufacturing in general, entirely new ways of production have surfaced and developed. Customer tastes and desires have also evolved. We are now in an experience economy. Possessions and status symbols have been replaced with the ever-growing desire for new experiences. Health and well-being are playing an entirely different role than 10 or 20 years ago. And we as a global population are increasingly focusing on the role of purpose, which represents a major mindset shift. Dynamic societal media trends include numerous key trends, including a shift towards sustainability, climate change, a consequential trend towards more circular thinking, as well as, for example, the renewed deglobalization and deurbanization trend as a consequence of COVID, which is impacting not only our supply chains, but all of the way how we work and how we live in general. Macroeconomic forces are often more disruptive in nature. They cover, for example, changes to the regulatory landscape. To pick one example, IT departments within banks spend astonishing and shocking 70% of their resources on compliance related requirements. Another example is the currency and price volatility, with global inflation going to new heights after decades of relative price stability, or the newfound commodities and resource scarcity that is impacted by a decreasing production of crude oil and the massively increasing demand of rare earths to make batteries for our cars work. Industry forces are highly specific to each industry. So here you have to do the legwork and assess how your suppliers, competitors, new entrants and substitutes impact your industry on the short and long term. Last but not least, the more general market forces cover broader issues such as globalization and deglobalization as a consequence of COVID. Cyclical changes to the global supply chain and demand situation as well as the threat and opportunities when players entirely change existing markets by reinventing their business model. Summarizing, unlike the business model itself, over which you have full control, 
emerging trends and disruptive forces represent design constraints that you have to work with. Analyzing and understanding them correctly gives you a competitive edge since you can consciously play your cards as well as avoid major threats since you can arrive prepared. Working with the Unite Business Model Environment Canvas is simple. Basically, I would love to invite you to play the what if game. Simply go through the areas of each layer and ask yourself the tough questions. For example, how is an aging population affecting us? Always regards to the regulatory changes. What will change? What will change when this new rule or legislation comes into effect? Please take the time to go through each area and discuss the decisive questions and analyze how each is relating to and possibly impacting your business model. Particularly focus on the opportunities. We often find that people tend to focus on the more negative trends and forget to discuss the amazing opportunities change represents. To quote Winston Churchill on that one, never let a good crisis go to waste. There are more opportunities out there than you may think. Generally, understanding the design constraints on your business model is becoming ever more important as the rate of change itself accelerates. The Unite Business Model Environment Canvas is therefore the go-to tool for any business model engineer. The Unite Environmental Canvas nicely integrates with all other Unite tools. As an example, here you see the Unite Business Model Framework, the first of its kind globally. The Business Model Framework shows the business model at its very center. And depending on what aspect you're interested in, you can literally zoom in with the help of related models. As an example, you can deep dive on your value model with the help of the value proposition canvas or on the operating model with the operating model canvas. Or you can reinvent your business model with the business model innovation patterns. Or, and this is what we have done today, you can better understand the context you're operating in with the Unite Business Model Environment Canvas. You can discover and freely download all of those tools and models and canvases on digitalleadership.com slash unite. The Unite Environment Canvas and the Unite Business Model Framework, which you have discussed today, are part of over 50 models that cover the entirety of innovation and digital transformation. Jointly, they are the largest integrated library the Internet has to offer. Sharing not only one model, but the integrated set of Unite tools is important to us. All pieces of a business have to work together like in a well-oiled machine. As an example, the best product without great marketing will fail. The best marketing without a poor product will equally fail. And without a convincing operating model, you'll also not be set up for success. And if you don't have your financials under control, your business model is not going to fly either. I'm sure you get my message. You have to think, design, and act holistically and sustainable. Else we lose, as people, as organizations, and as societies. We have to apply much more holistic thinking to everything we do. And with the help of the Unite models, you can do just that type of integrated thinking, which is required. We are very happy to share with you all of those tools on, on, and be invited to use them on your projects fully for free and entirely open source. Be sure to check them out on digitalleadership.com slash unite. And if you want, you can deep dive on most of them, leveraging our book, which you can find at digitalleadership.com slash create innovation. The book is called How to Create Innovation. With this, I wish you all the best. And in the spirit of the book, let's unite and create a world worth living in. If you have questions and want to engage in a discussion, reach out. We are here to help. We are here to ready to support you if you want to create real change in your organization. So we as digital leadership, we are supporting organizations across their innovation and digital transformation initiative as a consultancy, as a sparing partner and co-player. And we are happy to support you as well in related domains such as brand and user experience, customer, um, sorry, culture and off-change, which we believe to be essential, 
as well as aligning business and IT, which is critical as part of any transformation. Thank you so much, be well, and see you soon at thisleadership.com. All the best. Thank you.